So Sharon, if 2010 was the year of the smart meter, what will 2011 be about? 2011 will be about operationalizing and extracting value from the deployments that have already started. Uh, it's going to be the year of making it prove the value that we have all so believed from the beginning. Great. What issues and challenges are top of mind with customers right now? I'd say three issues. One is around how do I manage the testing as I transition from project mode to operational mm -hmm. on a very complex system that's changing. One is around my resources because the skills, the talent pool, um, I've got people retiring, I've got a change of mix of talent pool. And, and the third is how do I digest the pace of change and the effect it has on my business processes. So those three things in terms of um, you know, the people, the process, and how do I operationalize what I've deployed. Great. What's, uh, what's Accenture bring to the smart grid party? Uh, three things that we bring to the market. One is our high performance utility model. One is a global organization that we can mobilize uh -huh. anywhere in the world across a broad spectrum of disciplines right, to right. handle these complex projects. And the third is is our approach and process methodology in institutionalizing how you uh, bring something from a project mode to operational in, in production. I'm seeing often times that it's combining the information from the IT and OT from the uh, back office and the operational side that's creating some new insights. I mean, you even at um, most shows you go to or most conferences, you are starting to hear everyone talk about IT and OT. Mm -hmm. um, I think we're going to show up a year from now somewhere and we're going to see a lot of new companies who are doing some really cool things with data. I mean, we're going to start to see analytics companies and little mm -hmm. software vendors utilizing data pop up. About 10 years ago, there was nobody doing in-home displays on the yeah. in-home front. Uh -huh. uh, I remember doing a survey probably about nine years ago. There were three people in the market. Wow. Yeah. There's over 40 yeah. now. I think a year from now, we're going to see the same thing with the usage of data. Very interesting. Where do, you, where do utilities stand right now in the use of business process and understanding how that's going to be part of the total solution? You know, that's a great question. Some. Um, some get it and some value it. Uh, some, I'm not sure, uh, are there yet. Mm -hmm. So it, it's really varied. Um, but we see, a, we do see a number of large utilities who are taking that step to really go through and define it and understand it. Um, a year ago, I was somewhere in Washington D.C. and Joe Rigby was speaking. Uh, right before or right after me. And I remember a year ago him standing up and saying, you know, we are about to embark on a very large program and the one thing I have come to appreciate is the business transformation and the business process and we as a yes. company have to get that right. I thought it was, you know, absolutely spot on and to have it coming from the most senior level leading a utility. Uh, there are absolutely people who understand and get it. It is so significant. It, it, it transforms a utility and it cuts across yeah. everything they do. It is not, is no longer a single department function. So much of this now yes. becomes cross departmental. Uh, can you comment on the growth of, of Accenture's smart grid practice in the last year or two? Have you added new capabilities, new personnel, new practice areas, new geographies? Yeah. So Accenture's smart grid practice is, is grown on all dimensions. Um, our penetration into the geographies uh, with the movement we see going on in Europe on the smart metering front, uh, with the interest in Singapore on smart cities, with the work on the grid in China. So our penetration as far as on smart grid has, 
has grown. It's pretty well divided right now between the U.S. and the non-U.S. Uh, countries that we operate in. From a people standpoint, uh, we have probably more than doubled. Uh, you know, the pace of that is by finding the right talent pool and, and getting the talent on board, which is an interesting challenge right now with the industry as busy as it is. Right. Uh, we've had our, our, our investments, we continue to invest in things that are repeatable and help a utility to operationalize. So one of our investments has been in our Indy, our intelligent network uh, data environment, which helps a utility to operationalize their smart grid. This past year, we launched a practice that we call the Scott Group, which is focused more on the engineering aspects and having more core engineering skills uh -huh. to be able to help in the OT area mm -hmm. within the utility. Uh, where do you expect your biggest growth next uh, next well, year, whether it's geographically or, or the type of practice? Um, the growth varies from the regions. So here uh, in the U.S., uh, we're seeing a lot of interest in enterprise architecture and integrating this. And we're seeing a lot of interest more on the grid side, starting to look at how I tie in the grid operations, but know that the pace of AMI started six years ago here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. In Europe, our growth is on the smart metering side. Okay. I mean, that is a big thrust. In Europe, uh, we moved to APAC, the Asia Pacific Rim. It is all about grid and grid efficiency. So uh, the growth depends on the region of the world that we look at. All right. Sharon, thank you very much. Thank you, Jesse. Thank it's you. been great. It's been Appreciate fun. it. Thank you.